Today we're going to take a look at the trailer idler hub assembly for 3,500 pound easy lube axles. This has a five on four and a half inch bolt pattern. Now this trailer hub assembly will fit the easy lube idler axles and the easy lube axles are the ones that have the grease circ fitting on the end of the spindle that allow you to grease the bearings without having to remove the complete hub assembly. This does come with this easy lube compatible grease cap which will make lubricating the bearings very fast and easy. This installs right here on the outside of the hub and then when you want to get to grease the bearings all you have to do is pop off the rubber plug that'll give you that opening which will give you access to that zerk fitting on the spindle put your grease gun in there and you can fill your bearings with grease so you don't have to take your whole hub assembly off the axle <clears throat> now this hub assembly does include everything shown here on the table it even includes the bearing races which are pre-installed in the hub there's your outer bearing race there's your inner bearing race comes with the inner bearing the outer bearing the grease seal that easy lube grease cap with the rubber plug and then five half inch lug nuts. This hub is a sturdy iron construction, has a zinc and rich paint finish over the whole thing. This is certified by USSAE standards and CSA which are the Canadian standards. Again the application for this is 3500 pound easy lube trailer axle with the number 84 spindles. Now it is compatible with axles for most manufacturers including Dexter, Lippert and Alco. The hub flange diameter which is the total diameter of this whole hub is six and a half inches. Again, the bolt pattern is five on four and a half inches. The weight capacity is 1,750 pounds per hub. So when this is matched with another hub on the other side of the axle, it meets your 3,500 pound rating. Now these parts, I'm going to show you where they go. The inner bearing, which is the larger of the two, it's a part number 68149, has an inner diameter of 1.378. That would go right here on the inner bearing race, just like that. To hold it in, you have your grease seal. Overall diameter is 2.565. Just put that on there and you tap that into the spot to hold everything there. Now the outer bearing, which is the smaller of the two, that's a part number L44649, has an inner diameter of 1.063. That would go right onto the outer bearing race just like that. And then you have your zinc plated easy lube grease cap with that rubber plug. Diameter on that is 1.99 inches. Just tap that in there just like that. And as I mentioned, you can remove the plug and get access to that Zerk fitting on the axle. Now for this video, I'm just showing you where the parts go on this hub. But when you do install this for the first time, you do want to make sure both bearings are greased very well and then install them. And then from then on, you can use that Easy Lube to maintain the grease in the bearings. <clears throat> also includes the five half inch by 20 lug size. That's used to, that these are used to hold your tire and wheel assembly to the hub. So once you put your wheel up on the studs, just go ahead and put your lugs on there and then torque your lugs down to the correct specs for your application. But that should do it for the review of the trailer idler hub assembly for 3,500 pound easy lube axles with the five on four and a half inch bolt pattern.